Hello and welcome to this Ansible tutorial for beginners. My name is Roger Perkin, I am CCIE number 50038 and that's me just there and this 10 minute video is going to introduce you to Ansible, what it is, what it can do and we're going to start uh, with a very simple playbook. So what is Ansible? Um, according to Ansible.com Ansible is a radically simple IT automation engine that automates cloud provisioning, configuration management and network devices. The key thing with Ansible is that it is agentless. No agents and all communication with remote devices is done over SSH. This makes it uh, one step ahead of Chef and Puppet and other tools like this that require an agent to be installed on the remote machine. Uh, it uses YAML which is um, a language, a markup language, to write playbooks. And these playbooks perform the tasks that you want to do on your network. Now, Ansible has previously been used heavily for server automation, and recent upgrades in the code has made it much more usable for network devices. And this is the focus of this tutorial. Um, we're going to do a backup of a Cisco router. Uh, with a playbook. So a playbook, they are Ansible's configuration and orchestration language. Uh, they describe the tasks that you want to do and they are run and document, basically self-document themselves. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's get rid of the PowerPoint. And here I have a Ubuntu machine with Ansible installed. And we're just going to verify that. So to verify the Ansible install, you can do Ansible dash dash version. Now, if you want to know how to install Ansible, there is another video which I'll link in the description that will go through the basics of how to install Ansible. Um, but for this video, we are running with an installed version of Ansible. And I'm going to show you a few basic things within the Ansible installation. Uh, the first one is the host file. Now Ansible needs to know what devices to go out and affect. So let's just have a look at the host file. Now in my host file I have got a group of routers that are called CSR routers and in here I have two devices, uh, CSR1. Um, now I don't have DNS running within my lab environment and normally you could put a name in here this would resolve so I'm just going to define it with this syntax which is Ansible host and the IP address of the router and the second one here so when you want to affect these devices you can either call this group name which will run on all devices in here or you can call a specific device so this is meant to scale so you can have hundreds of thousands of devices in here that can be called by one command so this is the host file this is what the playbook will by default look in this location for these devices now I have created a folder called playbooks and this is where I've written my playbooks now I've got a very simple playbook here and it's called backup cisco router.yaml so we're going to have a look at that uh, like this okay so the start of a yaml file is denoted by three dashes here and then the first line of this yaml file is telling the playbook which host to affect and in this example it's going to hit csr02 now, just to give a bit of context, CSR02 is actually a virtual router that I have running on the ESXi box I've got in my lab. So we'll just slide that one in here. So I've got a CSR router. It's here. And the IP address of that one is 192.168.1.171 which is what I had in the host file and just to show you as well I've got a username in here 
sorry about this. There we go. So I've got username Roger and the password is password123. So that's defined down here. We'll get to that in a moment. So that's the router I'm going to be touching. Uh, gather facts needs to be true because we want to get some information. The connection is local because uh, it's coming from this box. And then we step down into our tasks. So the first task is going to be show run. Now this is a name. This is the documentation of the playbook. So this is what shows up when you run the playbook so you know what parts it's running. And then we are going to call a module. Now this is an Ansible core module. It's called iOS command. You can look at the documentation for this on the Ansible website. It's very well documented, all the features it uses. And we're going to use the commands module and we're going to run this command, show run. The next few lines uh, detail how we're going to authenticate to the router. Um, and in this case, I'm using the username Roger, the password 123 here. Normally, you'd have SSH keys set up for a, a more simple connection. Uh, but for this lab example, we're just using username and password. Once it's run the show run, it's going to have to save that information. So you need to register that. So we use this command register and then a variable. Now this can be anything. So in our example, I've called it config, but you can call that anything you want. That could be called Wednesday on there, anything you like. So that configuration file of the router is now registered to this variable config. And the next task in here is called save output to Ansible backups. And what we're going to do is use this module, which is the copy module, and we're going to copy the config with standard out, which is a, a format to, to use here. And the destination is going to be etc Ansible backups. And then I'm going to prefix the file name with show run. This will take the host name, defined.txt. And that's it. So we're going to run through this and we're going to run the playbook. So to run an Ansible playbook you run one command which is Ansible playbook and then the name of your playbook file. So in our case Cisco router. So the play starts and you can see this is where the documentation parts come in. So it says I'm going to run the task, so run against this device. And then I'm going to do the task, save the output to this folder. Now, it's orange, which indicate that it changed. So that worked, and a new file has been created. The green OK says it's worked. The orange changed equals 1 has shown it works. So if we now drop back into that folder, you can see I've got a file. This is show run CSR02. We'll have a look at that. text, And here is my router config. Now, Ansible uses this thing called item potency. I think I've said that right. Whereas you can run a playbook as many times as you want and if nothing changes then it won't do anything else so I can run this playbook again so we'll just run this one once more and because nothing's changed it comes up here and you can see changed equals zero now at the moment I'm not doing any versioning controlling I'm not dating time stamping this file so the file will remain as it is and so I've run it the second time but it didn't do anything so that didn't actually copy the config if I bring my router back in again I'm gonna make a change on here so let's just change the host name to CS okay so I've now changed the host name of that route. We've made a change to the config. So once I run the playbook again, this should now say changed, which it does. And back into the folder, 
Now we still only have one file there because I said we haven't done any date or timing on this at the moment. That's going to be dealt with in another video where we start to do some version controlling on this. But this file now, you can see, uh, if I go up to the top, the host name should be changed on this. And there it is. So we've now updated that config. Now you can see the potential here that this can be run over hundreds, thousands of devices. And if you want to run a very simple command, if you want to find out the information of show IP interface brief or, or pick a variable or anything on multiple devices that you don't want to log into each one, you can see here the, the massive benefit of Ansible and how it can help. So I hope you've enjoyed and got something from this short tutorial. My name is Roger Perkin, and if you want to see more videos like this, please check out my website, which is rogerperkin.co.uk. Thanks for watching. See you again.